Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're looking at an amazing add-on known as Sculpt Wheel. Now this tool is made available by JF Matthew and he has constantly been updating it. I kind of follow the whole build for this and it's just interesting to see that there is a tool like this that now exists for Blender. Now if you want to get this, link is going to be in the description for both the Gumroad and the Blender market. And without further ado, let's dive directly into Blender and take a look at how this works. So. With Blender open right here, all you have to do once you download this is go over to edit, go over to preference and you, you know, you install the add-on. Now first things you will notice is once you install this add-on, you literally don't see anything. So if you press N on your keyboard, nothing appears here. The reason why is because the add-on is for your sculpting. So how do you get this going? You go over to the sculpting section and once you press the space bar, you would notice this nice lovely looking wheel. Now there's a whole lot of beautiful use cases for this, but I'll state most of the obvious one that you would like to work with. So if you would like to select any of these at all, you want to work with them, you can simply go ahead and select them. And something else is once you're walking across this or you're going around them, you would notice that we get, you know, the name of that brush. So instead of trying to memorize the brushes, know where they are, know what shortcuts you need to learn, just press the space bar and you can select whatever brush you want. If you want to do all of your masking, you can see all the types of maskings that you have. So you have like your mask sharp, your mask smooth, your mask invert, and also your remesh settings. Some other beautiful things that also exist here is within the pad section, once you click and you drag to the left, you can increase the strength of your brush. So this makes sense. So if you want to increase the strength of your brush, you can do that. If you also hold down the space bar, click right here and push this all the way up and down you can increase the size and if you actually hold down and hover across here and click you would notice it says size and strength and also points out the direction that you want these things to be now this looks very interesting and it's quite fun to work with but what if for some reason you don't actually have the brushes that you want to work with here how do you make changes to this and how can you play with them so before we talk about the customization for this wheel let's press n on the keyboard and see some settings so once you press N on the keyboard within your sculpt section or within your sculpting mode, you'll notice we have a tiny button here called Sculpt. So once you click that, you'll notice we have the Sculpt wheel, we have tool set, custom buttons, and also, you know, the wheel settings. So if I hit down on the wheel settings, we can control the radius of our wheel. So let's simply come through and, you know, punch this all the way up to about, let's say, let's make that 250, press the enter key. If you now press the space bar, you'll notice we have a bigger one. Now, if you want something that's quite small, you want some real estate for your screen, you can press the space bar and you can also get them here. Something else which is very interesting to see is once you add your tools, you can also do some tools, you know, some custom coloring. So if you select custom colors, you can play with the outline, you can play with the background. That is totally up to you. If you don't like the space bars, the shortcut for your keyboard, you can actually change those right here. And if you want to make customizations for the buttons, you can click on custom buttons and down there you can start making some customizations. Now these customizations include like your mask and your image settings, all of that stuff. But for your brushes, you need to click on the tool sets and within there you can make some changes for the brushes as well. So if I press the space bar and I want to start customizing this and I don't want to add something new, I just want to customize, you know, the positioning of stuff. I can click on this edit button right here and then I can drag this over to the section and you notice automatically it switches places. I can also do the same thing right here. I can also do the same thing right here. And once I'm done, just click on this button and you have everything sorted out. Now, if there's a button, for example, like the smooth and I need the smooth to be attached here, I can select the smooth brush. I can come right over here within the sculpt wheel settings under the tool set and click on add active brush. Now, once we add the active brush and press the space bar one more time, you would notice that we have that active brush selected. You select your slide relax and let's go ahead and add that there. And maybe while you're sculpting, you just want to switch. You can press your space bar and now you'll notice we have this one right over here. Now, a lot of you guys would say, okay, this makes sense, but now it's beginning to get crowded. How would you, you know, play with this so that you can get even more real estate for yourself? Now, for this one, you have to go down here and you can now create a brand new tool set. Now, once you click on the brand new tool set, let's go over here and say, for example, we want to get the move. And I'm also going to add that move as a brand new brush. And I can come over to the section where we have our clothes filter and add this as a brand new brush as well. Now, once this is done, I will scroll all the way up and press the space bar, you now notice that we have the move and also the clothes filter. At this point, we can switch in between these two and make our selections. So it's a very handy tool to have if you are thinking about, 
you know, you're thinking about something that would make you work faster and even better. It's a very nice aesthetic tool. And at the same time, it's very easy for you to also do all of your sculpting stuff and your texturing settings. And at the same time, your remeshing. So this is a very lovely tool for anyone who wants to start working with Blender and probably you would like to go in and you know sculpt some stuff and you don't want to spend all the time memorizing all of these two sets. The developer has also you know put a whole lot of things in place to make sure that once there is a bug and once you report it, he fixes it and also releases a patch. So it's a very interesting tool to have and of course if you want to get this there's going to be a link in the description where you can grab this and also start working with it so this is definitely going to be about it i would like to know what you guys think about this lovely tool in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks Things like this. Peace.